In this video, I will show you which file format and Kodak choose when exporting your animation by just using After Effects without using Adobe Media Encoder or Handbrake Video Converter. So first, go to the file, go to Export, click on Add to Render Queue. At the bottom, you can see the output module by default is lossless. Select that and we need to change that format to quick time and then in here video output click on format options here we have various different ones by default it is animation but you need to change it to Apple ProRes 4444 select that and click on OK you also can include the alpha channel as well plus RGB to if you have a transparent background then click on OK if you choose output 2 we can give it a different name so this would be quick time 444 click on save click on render these are all the different formats that you can produce by using just after effects rendering tool and you can see the biggest file size would be for lossless and avi lossless is the default option and it is almost half a gig for just three seconds and i have created this quick time 4444 and you can see which is pro race 444 you can see it is just 41 megabytes and if i play it you can see the animation runs pretty smoothly if you want even a smaller file size you can go with quick time animation but if i play that you can see it is jittery and if you select the same one but with the xq at the end it increases the file size a bit but you don't get much difference in the quality and all of them can be played by using vlc player in windows 10 so the conclusion is to choose quicktime prores 4444 as your output file format to get the best quality and the smallest file size i hope this video was useful if it was please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.